my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 8th of February, 2019. President Donald Trump needs to smell the coffee and recognize that the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Shaman, is a cold-blooded murderer. He also needs to recognize that the religion that the Saudis follow Wahhabism, it's the most vile form of Islam. I'll talk about that in another upcoming video. This article is posted on the HuffPost, posted on the 7th of February. Saudi Prince said he would use a bullet on Jamal Khosagi a year before killing report. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Shoman was reportedly angered by the Saudi journalist's criticism of the kingdom's regime. There's an embedded video you might want to watch. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Shoman in 2017 told the top aide he would use a bullet on Jamal Khosagi. I guess he changed his mind, huh? Instead they used a bone saw. The Saudi journalist killed last October, according to a report by the New York Times on Thursday. Well, he was butchered, dismembered, and the remains were disposed of in acid. The Crown Prince was expressing frustration at Kosagi's criticism of the Saudi government and reluctance to return to his native country from the United States. Do you blame him? Huh? You know what would happen to him if he would have gone back? where he had been living in self-imposed exile, the Times reported, citing current and former U.S. and foreign officials with knowledge of intelligence reports. The intelligence reports offer some of the most direct evidence of the role of the Crown Prince may have played in Kosagi's slaying, which sparked weeks of international outrage and protest. CIA officials had determined in November that Mohammed likely ordered the journalist's assassination based on an understanding of how Saudi Arabia works. Quote, this would not and could not have happened without MBS involvement, an official told the Wall Street Journal. The Washington Post, for which Kosagi had been a columnist, reported on October 10th that Mohammed had personally ordered an effort to lure the journalists back to Saudi Arabia. The kingdom has denied Mohammed prior knowledge of the killing at a Saudi consulate in Turkey and said in January it would seek the death penalty for five people allegedly involved. Wasn't it the Crown Prince's G5 that picked up these murderers after they did their deed? Huh? Kosagi 59 was once close to the Saudi royal family, but had become critical of the repression of human rights activities under the crown prince. He was last seen entering the consulate in Istanbul on October 2nd to obtain a marriage document. A team of Saudi operatives seen arriving in the country that day are believed to have strangled him once he entered the consulate and then dismembered his body using a bone saw. These people are just cold-blooded savages. Saudi Arabia for weeks denied Korsagi had been killed, even claiming he walked out of the consulate shortly after entering, even providing misleading video footage to back up its claim. But the kingdom later changed its story and acknowledged the journalist had been killed. Yeah, well, they had no choice, huh? The uh, Turkish president he had audio tape of the actual murder. Even the admission, though, was fraught with inconsistency. Saudi officials initially said Kosagi's death was the result of a fistfight gonorrhea. They also at one point claimed the assailants were rogue killers. The kingdom eventually said the killing was likely premeditated. The evolving explanation sparked speculations of a cover-up. 
President Donald Trump initially accepted the Saudi denials, but later said the killing was carried out poorly and the cover-up was one of the worst cover-ups in the history of cover-ups. Well, actually 9-11 isn't that far behind uh, as far as a lousy cover-up. Nonetheless, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with Mohammed as well as with Saudi King Salman in January and said he expected that the kingdom would hold the responsible parties accountable. We spoke about the accountability and the expectations that we have, Pompeo told reporters after visiting Riyadh. I wonder what he dined on when he was over there. Huh? Looks like a bloated rat, doesn't he? The Saudis are friends, and when friends have conversations, you tell them what your expectations are. Hey, uh, Pompeo, you might want to do a little bit of research. Huh? The Saudis follow Sharia law. You, me, us are infidels. There's three options. You convert to Islam. You pay Jesus, or you die. There is no fourth. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the new intelligence. Well, I'm sure Jared, who's on a first name basis with Mohammed, will get this all sorted out. Folks, this is insane. Saudi Arabia has never been a friend of America. It can't be. We are the infidel. I'm going to do a little bit more research and provide you with additional information on Saudi Arabia. America needs to wake up before it's too late. It might already be too late. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to President Donald J. Trump. He needs to smell the coffee.